the film industry that we knew in the 80s and in the 90s is gone. We did not have any sacred cows. You know, you know what that means. In other words, in other words, uh, we did not owe allegiance to anybody. So we could talk about and make fun of and hit anybody we wanted. If it's ever brought back, uh, it should go. On a, it's not just about politics now. You know. ah, you it should go, go beyond. Beyond. What, what, what no, you about see? social what commentary now. I mean, you know, about what the Filipino is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What kind of human beings we are. There are a lot of really good people in the MPRCB. There are also those who, who I believe, don't know how to watch films. You know can what you, I mean? Can you, uh, so it's like if they see a boob, X-rated, na minaki kam boob, alam mo yung ganon. This is Breaking Glass. Say nga ng isang komprador na hindi mamatay-matay sa heart attack dahil walang puso. <laughs> Long live free enterprise! You is mean to say, Joe, uh, you will helping to me even without there is no military basis? And of course, you dumb flip. I mean, what a friend for? Oh, no. You is mean to say, Joe, because your multinationals is dumping, dumping junk food and junk drug in this country, you will help him to me even without there is no military basis? Of course, you dumb flip. I mean, what the matter? You don't trust us, Americans? <laughs> Just because uh, we have fun with little dumb flip girls in Olongapo or, or, or shoot dumb flip boys in Angeles, you don't trust us? Oh, come, 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 come. <laughs> you is mean to say Joe because your uh, American G.I. Joe is making bastos bastos to our generals. You will help him to me even without there's no military basis? <laughs> of course, you dumb flip. I mean, what is the matter? You are not believed with us Americans? <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Take the money, you know. After all, we're friends. <laughs> go on. That's the way. Yeah, that's the way. <laughs> No! You is telling me you will help him to me even without there is no military basis to... Oh, what's the matter, you dumb flip? You don't like these nice little toys? No, 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 Jo, Jo. Please take him away then. Please take him away the basis. I am a prince of the Atongbang. Atongbang? Okay. If you don't like them, then we'll just have to take them away. <laughs> <laughs> The money, Joe. Joe, the money, Joe. No, 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 Satire is the use of humor, irony, and exaggeration to expose our stupidity. We could use some of that, that these days. Mm. Speaking of which, where has satire gone? Joining us today to talk about that and a million other things is award-winning stage film and television actor, Jaime Fabregas. Jaime, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. You know, uh, we just saw a clip from uh, your show, Six O'Clock News from the oh, 80s. The old one. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and when I saw it, I actually felt my jaw drop. I said, wow, I can't believe uh, they were showing stuff like that. I don't see them showing that stuff now, don't you think? Well, uh, remember that uh, Six O'Clock News was coming from 20 years of martial law, not, not 20 years of martial law, martial law was 71, so mm -hmm. it, yeah. Um, under, the, the, under the Marcos regime, you know, which, uh, under which very few people could say what they wanted mm -hmm. to say out aloud, mm -hmm. you know, much less on television, on national TV, you know. So what happened was you just started so blurting out So we put up things? this thing. Actually, when we started it, um, may takot yon. There was a certain kind of fear because we didn't know what kind of repercussions we were going to get. You know the I mean? takot from where? Where was the takot coming from? Every, from everything. We didn't know if, you know, um, some of the um, 
repressive elements, oppressive elements were still around, you know what I mean? <laughs> to get, ah, you're talking badly about me, pack. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. But a bit of a paranoia also on our uh, part. But, uh, um, no, but, but, but we went ahead and The general it. thinking then, one no, parang paranoid, wait, careful, you're treading carefully. Yeah, no, I think, I think what it was, was it, it came at a point kaya when, w w actually I had a friend who actually summed it up in very, in, a, in, a, in one sentence. He says, you know what you are in Sigo Clactus, you are diffusers. You diffuse the anger of the people. You, mm. you, in other words, because you make them laugh about uh -huh. something that they should be angry about. Diba? Dapat galit ka. Mm -mm. Pero since ginawa mo in a funny natawa. way to show that thing, natatawa ka na lang. And you say, gagagot talaga yung mga gagagot talaga yun. Imbis na magalit ka. You know, too. So the, he called us diffusers, actually. Uh -huh. That's what we were called. The show was called a like a diffuser. So why don't we see any of that now? We need a lot of diffusing right now. B I don't know. Because... No producer will, will take it. <laughs> what is it? You, you think people are not going to watch something like that? You think oh, corporations? They will. But no, you think they the will. Yeah. The, the, the thing with Six O'Clock News, what really made it work and what eventually also killed it after three years, mm. was the fact that we did not have any sacred cows. You know, you know what that means. So in, other words, in other words, uh, we did not owe allegiance to anybody. Uh -huh. So we could talk about and make fun of and hit anybody we wanted, including including uh, multinational corporations who in the beginning were sponsoring us but because we were hitting them they removed their sponsorship so now we're not coming so that was it that, that was, was it. That, that was the end of the of the, of the show because we did not have sacred cows but that's the only way that a show like that can work mm -hmm. how can you be credible if you can hit a defensor santiago but you cannot hit an enrile uh, you gotta then hit everybody oh yeah you have to be open to the fact that you have mm -hmm. to talk about every single one you so cannot say, oh, ito, hindi pwede yan, ha, kasi kaibigan niya ng lolo ko. Hindi, oh, mm -hmm. oh, wala kami pakialak uh -huh. dapat, ganun. Was there pressure on you to, 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 to no, naman. modify? No, precisely, because so for three years, we had a run of it. We, mm -hmm. we didn't care, because it wasn't money-making for us. We weren't being paid lots of money that we were going to say, no, we don't want to lose the show. No, we were just getting paid like allowance, you know, <laughs> I mean, every time we went there. We were doing really more for fun than anything mm -hmm. else. And, but... The MTRCB, the regulatory board, did kind well, of well try to no, do pre something. No, no, all right, okay. Uh, at that time, um, President Corey was the president, uh -huh. right? And we were actually very respectful of her. Uh, we, we didn't say much, uh, th too many things about mm -hmm. her. But, of course, it was a satire. And our writer was brilliant, brilliant man, see, Mats La Cuesta. Mm. Uh, even before we started it, he started had names. May mga pangalan na siya for every single one. With uh, kasi the, our lawyers told us you cannot use somebody's name directly. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to change it a bit so that it doesn't. So who even if you know who you're uh -huh. referring to. So how would you address so you uh, uh, President Cory? So we we would call her President Tita. Okay. Yeah, because everybody called her Tita Cory, and uh -huh. she's the president, so President Tita. The congressman. Kang Congressman, kasi mga dapat kasi itapun sa kangkungan, karamihan sa kanila. Tapos yung mga senador, let's senador, kasi mga. So one time, I remember the night before, actually kung buwi natin yung kwento. The night before the taping, I was watching TV and lumabas yung trailer ng isang pelikula ni Eddie Garcia and Bong Revilla. And alam mo ni mga face off nila. Sabi ni, I don't know if it was Eddie Garcia or Bong Revilla who said it na, Ah, ganun, sige, tingnan natin, magkapit-pitan tayo dito ng bayag. Sabi yung ganyan. And this was on national TV, commercial trailer for the movie. So, ikot nagulat nga ako sa buwi. Nakalusot yung bayag, sabi ko ganyan, national TV. The next day, we went to taping. Marilu Odia Sabayo was our director. Ah told us, I said, okay, we got a letter from, a memo from the censor's chief, which at that time was Manuling Murato. Mm -hmm. <coughs> He's in trouble now. Uh, <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, Manuling Murato. You just had to do that. Yeah. Huh? Manuling Murato, and um, he was telling us, actually, that we had to stop, desist from using the terms Presidentita, mm -hmm. Kang Congressman, mm -hmm. Lechenador, because what? it was derogatory, and Disrespectful of people in government. Now, but, but, but this was mere suggestions, lang yaman, lamang yaman. No, from, no, from no, we were ah. actually no. It, it wasn't. It was though. It wasn't word. I don't remember the exact words mm -hmm. of the memo or mm -hmm. of the letter. But it was in the, in the fact saying that you know, uh, 
Stop it's it. like, stop doing it. Right. You know what okay. I mean? <laughs> so uh, when I read, when I saw that, I read the letter, I said, I said, okay. So we started the show, the usual, magandang gabi, lahat, ito si Sanias Guerra, you know, and that's it. So I said, bago po natin umpisaan, meron po kaming balita para sa inyo, nakatambok kang po. Puha namin ng letter mula sa ating censor chief, sa si Manoling Murato, na hindi na namin pwedeng gamitin ang mga salitang Presidentita, kang Congressman at Lachanador. Pero magmula ngayon, pwede namin salit- gamitin ang salitang Bayag! <laughs> <laughs> so that's how we started it out. Um, um, yeah. I, you know, if, if you were still... I mean, are there moments now watching the news and all of those things right now, reading the newspapers oh and you're yeah. going, my goodness, oh yeah. I wish oh yeah. Sico oh Clark yeah. was, news but, was still around, you see, still around now. You see, if it were up to me, I wouldn't be able to write it. You, that was what was brilliant about Maz La Cuesta, you see. Uh, I, we would tell him, oh, I would, I would actually call him, Mads, nabasa mo yung jaryo, nakakasya rin. Ako galit na galit ako. And he would go, oh, sige, sige, tingnan ko. And he'd come up and write it in such a way that it became funny. That it's not, you're not actually bickering. You're not actually, when, when, when I'm reading the news now, or, or it, it, hindi, hindi lumalabas na galit ka. It's like that you're just saying, okay, ito na naman to, oh. Tingnan mo na naman ang ginawa na naman ito. Uh, 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 hindi, hindi ka galit. Uh, that's how, that's what the brilliance of uh, Mads writing. Yeah. You see, because I, I realized that if I had wrote mm-hmm. it, it would sound mm-hmm. angry. Mm-hmm. But this one did not, sound, able, yeah. did not sound angry. So, but imagine, imagine, you know, I always say, I, I think, in fact, the easiest job in the Philippines is being a comedy writer. I mean, you know, you, you turn on the news, you've got material there, right? Ah, no, see, that's what, uh, also uh. another point that I think that's why we lost Sick O'Clock News at a certain point was because what was happening in reality mm-hmm. was funnier than us already. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so you can't keep on with satire <laughs> news that way, yeah. True, true. Mm. Speaking of Marilu Diaz Avaya, yeah. you know, she was a creative force behind it, am I correct? Well, what actually, when we started it out, mm-hmm. it was Marilu, it was uh, uh, Ismael Bernal, mm. the late okay. director yes, also. Yes. Uh, Mads La Cuesta, mm. uh, Manolo Abaya, who mm. is Marilu's husband. Uh, b- b- basically, the first meeting we had, I, it was just Ses Casada and I. Ses Quesada was, uh, we were co-hosting it. Right. Ses Quesada and I were asked to go to a meeting and these were the people that mm. we met with. Yeah. There have been attempts though to try to bring it back to, to now, a right? A lot of talks, uh, mm. a lot of talk. Mm. People are interested here and there, here and there. But uh, yeah, I mean, and, and, and what's nice about it now is you can, you know, with all the technology, you know what mm. I mean? But if we ever, if, if it's ever brought back, uh, it should, Go on a, it's not just about politics now, you know. Mm. Ah, you want to go, go beyond. beyond. What, what, what no, do you about see? social commentary now. I mean, you know, about what the Filipino is, mm. you know what I mean? What kind of human so beings we are. So we're not just, you know, attacking the politicians, but also let's go, let's go, let's go and let's start, go start looking at ourselves, ourselves already, like self-study already and stuff like that. Why is it that we're the only country na may sign na bawal umihi dito? Alam mo, ibig ko sa You know what I mean? You know, it's Like I said, the materials out there. You know, so people like, uh, <laughs> oh God, bawal hindi <laughs> <laughs> mga foreigners, gugulat sila. Yeah, right. Man, is it, I don't, have you ever gained? No, 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 no puede mear. No, in no, Spain, no, they don't, they don't have that. But, but remember, remember here nga, peeing is not against the law. It is against the wall. <laughs> okay. You know, if, 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 see, see, that one. See, that works. That works. That. Yeah. You know, I, I, in fact, I read, sense, read somewhere <laughs> that if you guys were around now, you would get shot. No, no, man. I no, don't no, man. So. You don't think no, so. No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. That person you was being said. I'll tell you, there are very few pecans mm-hmm. out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are really very few pecans. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the only problem is that if that pecan is in power, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. But there are also a lot, of, aside from if there's one pecan in power, there are also others who are in power that are not. Who can actually tell this guy, Oi, wag ka namang pecan. Mm-hmm. Na huh? I, I don't think you'll get shot. It's, it's not the kind of. You were not mean. Hmm? You were not mean. The show was not oh, mean. Oh, we could, I mean, we, we could be, we okay. could be mean. Yeah, we could be mean. Okay, yeah. let's show uh, one more clip from that okay. uh, show. Balik six o'clock news po tayo. Sabi yata ni Karl Marx, o sa Tagalog Marx Karl Varado. Capitalists and landlords will fall when worker and peasants arise. Sa Tagalog, kemayaman, kemahirap, 
kumakain ng bigas. At dahil dito, hindi matanggihan ng governments ang hiling ng mga magsasaka tungkol sa presyo ng palay. In fact, noong isang linggo, pumayag na ang government na itaas ng 50 centavos ang presyo ng palay. Ito, makaraang mag-demonstrate ang mga magsasaka at magbantang kapag hindi itinaas ang presyo ng palay, maghahasik sila ng gulo at aani ng dugo ang government. Gets it? Sinti kang matanda ka! Anak ka lang patukwa sa manok! Pag inabutan kita ngayon, tatadta rin kang pinong-pino! Ay humanda ka! Pag-inabutan kita ngayon! Ay humanda ka! Neat job, pal! Posibleng totoo ang ulat na ito dahil uh, kamakailan lang may demonstration na naman sa harap ng Malacanacanyang para di umano sa panibagong pagtaas ng presyo ng palay. Taming gagawin ay uh, magme-menstay kami dito at pagkatapos kung hindi pa niya mabibigay ang aming kahilingan, meron pa kaming gagawin ng aklasa ng magbubukid. <laughs> Six, six o'clock is uh, just uh, part of your nearly 40-year career in, in, in showbiz. Did, you, did you know that? Did you know that? Man, I forget. Eh. <laughs> you know, one role I'd like to talk about, again, I, I, I like it because it talks about politics also and all of those things, is the Australian production, remember that, on, on the People oh, Power dangerous film? Life. A Dangerous Life. Dangerous Life, life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, uh, part of it had to be filmed, believe it or not, yeah, outside, in Sri Lanka. Outside. Yeah, yeah. Allah. What was some the reason? It, some of it filmed in Australia and some in Sri Lanka. What was the reason why they had to shoot uh, in, in, Sri in Sri Lanka for 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 the scenes in the Philippines? Well, uh, because uh, at a certain point of production in the Philippines, uh, TROs were, you know, uh, who, who was uh, the temporary restraining, the order? restraining uh, orders of who, who? of players of of the of the Edsel Revolution. So uh, main main players of the Edsel Revolution. <laughs> So some well, of the main players yes. felt like the, the movie should not be made? Yes, yes. Or they did not like maybe what the movie was saying about them, or or which is which I do not understand up to uh. this point. Or maybe because they were not consulted. Uh, and they, they thought that hurt? maybe, oy, dapat man, kinonsulta nyo naman muna kami bago you mention my name. You know, mm -hmm. I mean that idea. So two of the main, two of the main ones uh, really came out with a TRO. So first the one guy, we got stopped. So we stopped shooting for a while. And of course, it's big budget load on the mm. producer because well, you're, you're paying for Can hotel. I ask? Yeah. Uh, can I ask who put out the, the stop? The two of them. See, si, uh, Gringo Onasan and, uh, and Ponce and Really? Okay. All right. Okay. Now, uh, in the, in, in, I don't know. I think, I think they were just... I, I think they were just misinformed or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. at, at a certain point. No, mm -hmm. I, I, don't wanna, I don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. I really don't know. But the point is... Um, so on the first TRO, I don't know which one came first. Uh, we stopped for a while, so big load, budget load mm -hmm. for the uh, producers because mm -hmm. they were paying for hotels for the foreigners and stuff like that. And we started shooting again, then the second one came. Another one. So the producer said, this might become a habit. They were thinking, <laughs> if every week, if they come up, we'll never get the movie done. So they said, let's leave. Uh, we were supposed to leave for us because we were really scheduled to shoot a lot of mm -hmm. in interior Malacanang scenes mm -hmm. in Australia, then okay. fixed up ABC right. studios okay. there. Um, but so instead of leaving like a month mm -hmm. after pa, mm -hmm. a month later pa yeah, from Australia, we had to, we went now, uh, we went ahead right. already. We right. did all the interiors in, uh. in Sydney. And then we finally found out now, okay, for the exterior shots that we still need to do of Manila, of mm -hmm. Malacanang uh, and uh. all of that, uh, we'll have to do it in Sri Lanka. And I was like, so <laughs> okay. So Kasi in takot in na silang bumalik. So in fact, it was that's costing them a lot of money. In fact, that's what's funny is that there are all these scenes. Of well, there was one Filipinos one specific scene that I remember. Uh -huh. So it's Gary Busey, who's who's the, the actor. lead actor there, yeah. and I are supposed to be seated. We're supposed yeah. to play. We're playing press people, mm -hmm. like it's in the foreign press. I mean, the local press. I okay. play a combination of Beltran and Chino Rosas at okay. the time, right? Okay. So, um, and Vic Diaz, I remember, plays. Uh, what was this big guy of Metrocom before? Um, oh no. God, never mind this guy. Uh -huh. Anyway, big big military. He was one one of the roles. So he's on stage with with uh, Marcos, Imelda, mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. and the other officers okay. like that uh -huh. seated, you know. And then they had, of course, officers behind them, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And 
This is being shot in, in, in Sri Lanka. Lanka. In yeah, Sri Lanka, that's right. That's right. right. On the, the Gold Face Hotel, which is much like our Manila Hotel. Okay. Beautiful hotel, yeah. anyway. In the ballroom. So, and I go like that. <laughs> and I look at some of the Filipinos and I say, Pare, tina mo yung salikuran nila, Vic. Kasi puros mga bumbay yung itsura. Sri Lanka, they have darker features. Sri Lanka, they have darker features. Indian looking. Indian looking, yes. So I go, Vic. I go like that. Vic, tingnan mo yung mga nasa likuran mo. So si Vic Diaz, seated like that, he looks at the people behind him. And he goes, Pre, mga taga-kainta lahat to. Because That's remember, so because, yeah. yes, because uh, the 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 British when they came here, they were, we were actually we were under, under British, British for six years. For six years in the 18th century, yeah. and they had brought in Indian soldiers. They, they had brought in sepoys, sepoys with them yes. from India. Uh -huh. You know, so they were here for six years. Uh -huh. When when they were getting kicked out again uh -huh. uh, from the country by by the Spanish mm -hmm. and the Filipino forces, uh -huh. a lot of those sepoys escaped, mm -hmm. run away, crossed the Pasig River into mm -hmm. Kainta. And up to now, and that's up why to now, we in see Kainta, if you dark go, you can see dark pictures. Yes, Indian. exactly. That's right. And that's what Vic meant. <laughs> na mga, mga kain. So, so, Filipino pa rin, pero mga uh -huh. taga-kainta. So, tama pa rin. In true ironic twist, mm. you actually became a member of the MTRCB. Yes, I did. How was uh, that? that was How was that working of, with uh, the uh, enemy? I mean, were, were, you, were, you, were they as bad as, you it know, your first... It wasn't. It wasn't. Ah. Except that, um, I don't know, you know, it's like... Um, it was difficult in the beginning because uh, although there are a lot of really good people in the MTRCB, there are also those who, who I believe, don't know how to watch films. You know can what you I mean? Can you so uh, it's like if they see a boob, <coughs> X-rated, I mean, uh. boob, <laughs> you know, it's like if you see several boobs, the uh. more pa. So how how was so that? Was that was it, how how was the dynamics of that? You sat down and then decided. Usually, or? three of you. Mm. are assigned to view a film mm. or a documentary or a TV show. Okay. And between the three of you, you decide whether it's, it can be aired, it can mm. be watched, mm. it can be in cinemas mm. and stuff like that. Mm. So the only thing naman here is that up to R18 tayo, but the next one, hindi ka na pwedeng palabas. Pag 18, which is for adults, mm. um, pwedeng ipalabas, mm. okay, as is. The problem is now in this country, all SM, Cinemas, they're not, not gonna they're not going to show R18. Right. True. Okay. No, but the other question is also, pag X rating, you cannot show it at all, right? You cannot I'm show it right. at all, but there is a, a, like a compromise. Ah, what is that compromise? So the compromise would be, uh, okay, if we want an R18 to, for it just to, just so we can show it, mm -hmm. what do you recommend we remove? The one scene of the boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, so, uh, 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 but, with, with, with me, uh, to, to tell you frankly, um, um, we, that was not supposed to be our job because exactly because we're not censors. Correct. And th 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 we're supposed th to be classifiers. classifiers. We're just classifying. What time? Yeah. So that's why my question is: if you set an X rating, does the government have the right to actually say, "Hey, people, you can no, only no. watch this. You can't watch that." No, because yeah, because it won't be shown if it's mm. X rated. There we don't have X rated. Cinemas. Uh, yes, correct. Ah, not because not of other that. in other countries. Yeah. But but technically, if you have an X rated if cinema, we're fine. If you have X rated cinema, yeah. Yeah, okay. you can show it. Yeah, right. of course. You had gone on to work with Marilu Diaz Abaya again mm -hmm. for Jose Rizal. Yeah. In fact, you won uh, FAMA's Best Supporting Actor for that. Yes, mm, playing yeah, the, yes, yeah, playing the lawyer yeah, of Jose yeah, Rizal. Yeah, but actually about five, five award-giving award bodies, yes, except for correct. four or five. Yeah. And... I think she is a uh, stickler for preparation. I of my grab, yeah. No, How actually, was it was. Uh, Jose Marilo has always been like that. Actually, uh, the pre-production work on that film was immense, immense. The, even before the script was right, even before we got mm. into the film. How was the preparation the like for you? And, and stuff. Uh, well, see, Cesar and Montano and I were asked to join uh, about three months before shooting, mm -hmm. actually, before actual photo photography, because she. She, we would get classes in history. We would have history classes with Marilu. Mm. She would show us um, um, what a, the route from Manila to Madrid, where the uh -huh. where the boats would go. And I was wow. like, okay, you know, we were there, you know, <laughs> all right. But, but you know what it was doing? Mm. It was you were being brought back into the time, so that. Um, Did you find yourself taking in that character of the of a, no, of a lawyer? Even even uh, even to the extent of giving us fencing lessons. And, and as, as right at the script, mm -hmm. there's no s scene that mm -hmm. we're doing any fencing at all. 
but she actually made us take fencing lessons because she said, no, it's the way you bring up, you, you carry your body. You, you're supposed, you know. So, 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 you, so you, you were walking you're upright for You're supposed to carry yourselves, you know, with, yes, you yes, know, exactly. with a stiff upper lip <laughs> at the time, you know, <laughs> I mean, that idea. So, uh, how do you do that? Fencing, mm -hmm. because fencing mm -hmm. is like that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It gives you that, mm -hmm. that cargada, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. You know, our, our film industry has not been uh, in a good state for quite some time. Mm -hmm. It has, in fact, been quite lean years for actors. Am I correct? The, the past, before well, the... Well, okay. Uh, yeah, the, 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 actual the film industry that mm -hmm. we knew in the 80s and correct. in the 90s is gone. Mm -hmm. uh, there are very few of the old players who are still there. Mm -hmm. Like maybe Star Cinema still. The old, old players like Ma uh, Regal Films is coming back, mm -hmm. right? Regal, Viva is still mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Octo Arts is still there, you know, but uh, as of before when they would make four, 20, 30, 40 films a year, they're mm. just making two, mm. you know. So how's it been being, three, like being an actor, you know. having to, be, to go through this period? I mean, Well, uh, well it's been tough. Mm. There's a lot of actors who don't have work. A lot of people, not only actors, but uh, other people in the industry, you know, like mm. grips, cameramen, assistant cameramen, um, production designers, art, de art, uh, art department people. Mm. A lot of them don't have work, mm. you know. So um, then the advent of of indie films, okay. right? Where you don't get paid much, but at least there's work. You know what I mean? It's like and and uh, and and at least you keep. But but now there is a going to be there is a resurgence. There is. There is. You yes. know, uh, as a matter of fact, I was talking to two uh, one one of the one a friend a good friend of mine, William Lau, who used to be. A producer, mm, okay. uh, he stopped already, but he used to produce mga action films mm. like Rudy Fernandez, Fernando Po Jr., right. Bong Revilla, Philip Salvador, and stuff like that. I was just talking to him about two or three months ago, and he said, "Alam mo, Jimmy, uh, pamura ng pamura na ang magproduce ng pelikula because, because of the advent of the camera, okay. the technology, and stuff mm, like mm. that. You don't have much light anymore. So you know, you don't need you don't need cha cha cha. You know, so." He are says, so wait, that's why. So he said, uh, you know what? He said, um, more films are going to be made. And then when we were doing a Doobie Doo, I talked to Mr. Mm -hmm. Tony Gloria, who's the producer mm -hmm. from Unitel. He said exactly the same thing. I remember he, he was saying, you know what, Jim? It's cheaper now to produce mm -hmm. films. William Lau also said the mm -hmm. same thing. It's cheaper to produce films. Plus he says, you know, that we get a return of investment in film production more than any other country. This is Tony Gloria. I mean, yeah, I don't know. So I don't uh, know the, uh, the, the, the business like that. side is. But that's what he says. Know, that's but what he says he gets uh, the mm -hmm. producer about mm -hmm. fifty percent. Mm -hmm. In other countries, you get thirty percent. And so he also said, there's going to be Our more research. films that are going Good. to be made, that and not good. and not just indie, but mainstream. Mainstream. Yeah. Good. So in fact, there was a li lean years, and then you had a telenovela. You were the on it, My Bukas Pa. Yeah, that was three years ago. Yeah. That changed a lot of things for you. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. All of a sudden, they wanted photos taken with me in malls <laughs> and stuff like that. You know, <laughs> whereas before I could just walk around in malls uh -huh. very, and they would just look like that. Eh? Uh -huh. And then yung yung classic case na ano nga, uh, How do you how do you nga, uh, compare an, a, a a character actor or a a character actor from a real uh, from the matinee actor? Uh -huh. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And they said, it's very simple, you know, the character actor is like this. When people meet you, when mm -hmm. they're walking like that, they go like that. Si, 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 it's just out. I don't it's know if it's... Now? I think one of them is still on. Yeah. I, I'm not sure. There's Guni Guni and I do, I do be do. do. Yeah. You seem to be the go-to guy nowadays for, for playing veteran, I, I a bit know. eccentric I don't actors. I'm mean uh, sure there are less people my age acting now. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have it cornered, no, no. I think. <laughs> you and Eddie Garcia have it cornered, I no, think. No, Eddie Naman is much older <laughs> okay, than me, I'm by sorry. the way. Ed, sorry, but it's true, okay? <laughs> don't get mad. Okay. Speaking of which, I mean, let's be honest, uh, celebrities here seem to be treated like demigods. Am I correct? Tell me. Am, am I well, you know, <coughs> uh, I always tell this to my kids. I said, like, character actors like me, we really don't get paid that much, mm -hmm. you know. We don't make the mega box, you know, mm -hmm. that the big actors get. Mm -hmm. But we do get perks. Uh, what know? are the One, perks? I get parking. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, every time I open, I go, I go down like that, and uh-huh. pinjo, and wala kang mapark kan yan, iba ba mo yung window mo, para sa makapark. Posing, oh. alika dito. Wow, tuturo ka ng parking. Actually, okay. my my kids, my young kids, uh, sabi nila, so one time we were going to a show in Moa to, uh-huh. uh, to watch this concert okay. of, of uh, what's his name? Anyway. Um, Backstreet Boys. Traffic, traffic. No, no, man. No. <laughs> no, the guitarist, okay. the guitarist, right. the guitarist. But what's, but what's the matter with me? Anyway. Um, traffic. Kaganong ganon so pull down, may tanong ta traffic na police pull down the window. He saw me, pak pin pin tunyal at mm-hmm. mga po, mga uh, 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 tapos uh, uh, uh. pinadaan ako. Sabi nung anak ko, you know what pa? I think I want to become an actor. <laughs> so that's why, so so that's why you have a lot of kids of actors being actors themselves. It's the part. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it's really the part. But, but, but that's true, right? I mean, we yeah, we treat yeah, uh, yeah, 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 celebrities with and then and then when when you go into a bar, you get. On the house drinks, when you take me in, or on the house pulutan. Correct. And then la- you know, you know, l- later on, you can become a congressman or a senator, right? Not necessarily. Oh, okay. so <laughs> Jesus. So no, no, no. See, <laughs> let's talk about look, that. Let's I'm talk about yeah, that. Okay. Let's talk about not, actors. I'm, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not saying that just because you're an actor, you cannot be a politician. Mm. Uh, no, I'm not saying that. Uh, I- the States is an example. There have been a lot of. Yeah, we say Arnold Ronald Except Reagan. the governor of. of California. Who's not an actor, but <laughs> exactly. No, he's yeah, he's more of a politician, <laughs> really. Yeah, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, right, I mean all these right. people. Uh, so it's not it's not because you're an actor you cannot run, but you have to have. Dapat merong minimum qualification naman siguro. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Especially for those um, positions that need a little bit of knowledge of law. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's a, like 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 a congressman and a senator. You know what I mean? How can you be a senator when you can't even read law books? But you must understand, you're an actor, you do stage shows, right? So I'm saying, isn't life just a stage? You know, we're all acting. Oh, yeah. So, oh, um, so supposedly, you know, these oh are just better def- actors def- than def- us. That's why they can act like they know no, the law. Well, I don't know. I don't know if they're better <laughs> actors. <laughs> good, so I don't know. So in, in fact, we've lost two icons the past eight years. I know there was Dolphy. I think you know, he's, he in his in his comedy, he was able to bring in a touch of social realism to his films. You know, you, you see anybody courageous enough doing something like he was doing? Oh yeah, uh, it will come out. It will come. There out. will be. There will be someone. Mm-hmm. And, and the, the the thing is, you know, um, I'm not I'm not exactly sure if people actually come out and do it on purpose. Mm-mm. You know, what what it is 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 when you come up with a film that mirrors life Mm-mm. or mirrors something about life sooner or later you know because you're mirroring life then you will be making a commentary on that Correct. type of thing Correct. and so maybe right now people are going to watch it and they're just going to laugh mm-hmm. but 5 10 15 years from now they're going to say say where is it sabi pala tumama na yon which is i think what happened to the chaplin films you know mm-hmm. and stuff True. like that you True. know so True. it's the same thing mm-hmm. It's the same banana queue. And then, then in 2004, the same banana queue. Mm. In 2004, we had lost uh, FPJ. FPJ. Okay. Yeah. You had worked together on a total of 30 films as actor and as perhaps. film compers- composer. Per- yeah. Perhaps, yeah. He had an intense sense of loyalty, didn't he? Oh, yeah. I mean, he. Most definitely. How, how was that, having that relationship with him? Well, uh, you know, uh, I would like to say that, uh, well, FPJ and I had more, like, more, although, although we would have a little bit of frolicking, you know, once in a while, but, you know, more like drinking a little beer on mm-hmm. the side and mm-hmm. stuff like mm-hmm. that. But but most of our relationship was really just work. Mm-hmm. It was really a very professional relationship. And, uh, yeah, he was like that. You know, once once he starts getting to know you mm-hmm. and he likes your working style and he likes the way w- you do things and mm-hmm. cha-cha-cha-cha, he'll keep getting you. Because, why? Because that also happens to even to our best producers like like uh, Peke. Peke Gallaga would you sh- would want to work with, mm-hmm. especially in production, with people mm-hmm. who you know, has already worked with before, and he knows. Is it because you know, you're sharing the same language already? Yes, you understand, you understand each other uh-huh. already. You know, you you they know without saying anything. Alam nila kung anong needs. You know, mm-hmm. they, you know mm-hmm. so they don't have to go out mm-hmm. of their way to teach you na naman, you know, and stuff like that. So, plus also, like I said, if if you like somebody's work, why do you want to change him? I mean, if he, you know, it's like, mm. so that's, that's the way, that's the way it, it works. I, yeah. you know, looking at FPJ and Dolphy, I, I, I just realized this, I know, na parang, you know, what, what uh, the two of them share, I think, is that they were strong 
what's the word maybe humanists they really cared for the people and i think it showed it, 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 it that's what the well, people saw yeah. in them right i'm like yeah. right you become an icon i think when you when your real life becomes yeah it's like it's like it's like robin hood you know mm. what i mean or something right. like that you know not necessarily i'm not saying that they were robin hood but <laughs> they were no but it's something like that mm. you know what i mean um they were very gracious they were very generous you mm. know no, I, I, uh, I did not know <coughs> dolphy that well but mm. but i can i can say that the, the fpj he was a very generous person you know and and that's why everybody loved him exactly yeah, everybody loved him nobody nobody had a bad word to say about him mm. because you can't how can you say something like that but somebody who's there Willing to help every time you needed help. A lot of stories I know, yeah, about yeah. him. About him, I I've he heard one about him just getting off the car in a slum area, just going down and. Oh, he had habits know, like that, you know. It was it was disconcerting sometimes, you know, because. Why? Why would you say that? Yeah, he would stop in in like jeepney restaurants along the way, mm -hmm. you know. He would just get up, get off, you know, and check up, 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 up. But if you you know, he just. Mm from out of the blue, you know, you just do something like that. No, it was just like getting in touch, you know, more yeah. than anything else, you know. He was really connected. And he would people. always, uh, like, if one of his, if, if he's a, there's an actor who, who worked with him, like, maybe 10 years ago, yeah. maybe once or twice, you know, and then all of a sudden he finds out that the guy's in hospital, <laughs> immediately, yeah. you know, he'll send his, padala mo nang, sa hospital pala si Ganero. He really did that. He was just generous. That's what he was. You know, I'm, I'd like to say na parang, you know, that's what we're looking for as a country. You know, somebody we're looking constantly for look, looking for savior, somebody who would well show the best of us. The, the you, you see anybody now? That uh, well, you know, no, no. Yeah, I think I think you know. I mean, you you can't say na man that. But we need change. Yes. Well, my point is that we need to change these people who have been there for such a long time and not done anything. You know what I mean? So th tell th me, that's tell why me. this idea of why. Uh, of why political dynasties keep going on. Mm -hmm. That's the fault of the people. Yeah, because we keep voting them in. Because I mean you give them that opportunity to create a dynasty. Mm -hmm. Because you keep voting them in. If kung hindi na sila nakakapag-deliver, eh bakit po tutuloy? Paulit-ulit na lang tayo. May mga matatanda na nasa puder. Paano bang nagawa nila for the country? They do. They entertain us. Just turn on the TV. They entertain us. Right? I mean, that's... That's not enough. That's, a, that's why ako bilib na bilib ako kay Robredo. And it's not because he's my kababayan, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But, but he was changing it from the bottom. Because, you know, uh, ang, ang ganda, meron may, siyang sinabi, even if you want to do good in the system that we have now, the political mm -hmm. system that exists in this country, even if you want to do good, once you get into the system, the system is so, so rotten, you become rotten. Correct. You have no choice. That's the cliche, so what yes. he was going to do? What he wants to do? What? Change the system. Mm -hmm. Create a system that is good, so that no matter how rotten you are, mm -hmm. when you go into that system, you have no choice but to be good. good. You cannot make that system rot. But they That's what he wanted to do. But it's there. It's in place. Mm -hmm. It's in place. In Naga, it's in mm -hmm. place. Um, in other words, what I'm saying is there is a model. Mm -hmm that people can look to and, and, and you know, it, they're, they're trying to, to come up with a, like a module mm -hmm. that they can give to other, other municipalities areas. and cities all over the country that you mm -hmm. can use, you know. There is a charter, a city charter in Naga that he came up with where if you go to City Hall, uh, kung kailangan mo ng form na ganito, dapat in two minutes may form ka. Pag wala kang form in two minutes, sabihin mo sa akin. Ganun siya. Mm -hmm. It's, it's, it, and yet, it was, it did it, it was, it could be done, it can be done, you know, so, but that's it, the change the system. But they seem to take away the good ones all the time, why not? Like I know, God is still testing us. Did you, did you hear that story? Actually, God bless the Philippines. God is, the country, this country of ours is the most blessed of all countries in the I, world. I can't wait to hear We have that. great weather, mm -hmm. all right, we have God-fearing people. People, mm -hmm. Filipinos are so nice, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have God-fearing people. Mm -hmm. uh, we have we have fantastic weather in this country. We have fantastic natural resources. We're actually a very rich country. You know what I mean? Uh, what else? Um, uh, we have forests. We have mm -hmm. rivers. We have our beaches are the most beautiful in the world. Going you know and stuff like that. So God said, "Hey, I'm giving you a really beautiful country." Eh, sobra naman kung pati leaders yung magagaling bibigay ko sa inyo. Eh, magirap naman kayo. <laughs> Sobra na yan, abuso kayo. Yan, mga leaders nyo. Mm. 
Ayan, ayusin. <laughs> <laughs> yun lang naman, yun ah. Hi, man. Thanks for coming. Thank you, thank Enjoy you. Enjoy okay. Let's close this one with another one from Sick O'Clock News. Felices cumpleaños to you. Felices cumpleaños to you. Felices cumpleaños. Felices cumpleaños. Felices cumpleaños to you. <laughs> Magandang gabi ka bayan. Ako po si Sunny Esguerra. At ako naman po ay si Ms. Lilian Pauli Katubusan Labaybay. At nandito kami dahil lunes na naman ang gabi at oras na para sa 6 o'clock news. At gaya ng kinanta namin, Felices cumpleaños o sa Ingles, Happy Birthday sa ating kaibigan na nasa Canto Makati Avenue, Canto Aurora Boulevard, Canto Ascaraga at sa Luneta at libu-libong plaza sa bawat sulok at lupalot ng ating bayang magiliw kung saan siya ay nakatayo o nakaupo araw-gabi, lunes hanggang linggo. Sandali, sandali, sani, sandali ah. Eh, hanit naman yata yung mga kaibigan mong yan. Sabay-sabay na mag-birthday pero purong naka-standby sa mga lansangan at plaza. Siguro mga sangga no yun ano? So, siguro mga rugby boys. Eh, sa bagay, eh, kung kaibigan mo sila, hindi ako dapat magtaka. Ah, after all, bird of the same feather dusters plucked together again. Ay, Lilian, hindi sangga no or rugby boys ang tinutukoy ko. At kaya nasa mga kalsada at plaza siya ay dahil siya ay isang bayanit. <laughs>